In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the most basic forwarding um, in Cisco Call Manager on a directory number. Um, so I have my IP communicator set up and my Cisco Jabber as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to forward this line right here to an outbound number. So as you can see right now, it's not forwarded. I can call it. Go ahead and ignore that call. And then I'm going to navigate to that directory number. So if I go to call routing, route plan report, I can look for it, enter 4837, make sure you have pattern or URI begins with, click find, and then click on the directory number. So this will take effect on all phones that have the 4837 directory number. Um, they will all get forwarded. So if you come down here to forward all, this is where you put in the internal, uh, the external number. So for this demonstration, I'm going to put in the Cisco TAC number. Now you have to make sure you abide by the dialing rules that you have um, set up. So if you have to dial 91 to get out, you need to make sure you include that right here or it's not going to work. Um, and then you also need to make sure that you have a calling search space um, that is able to reach external phone numbers. Uh, if you don't know what that means, you can look back. Um, I have a, a series about um, call manager, getting it all set up. That includes uh, partitions and calling search space and class of control in general. So for this one, I'm going to choose um, internal local long distance. Then I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hit apply config. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my IP communicator and my jabber and you can see calls forwarded to 91800 and the Cisco number. And I'll hit redial and you can see the number changed and it connected so it's working. So now all calls are being forwarded directly to that number. Now note that the end user could just do this at their desk phone or IP communicator just by doing call forward all and you can see it says forwarded to the phone number um, but as I said earlier you still have to make sure that there's a calling search space um, lined up for that that can get outbound or that will not work. Um, if you don't have that calling search space in there you'll hear your call cannot be completed as dialed when you try to put in that number. And you can also control that um, on the Jabber client as well. If you go into call settings, forward calls, new number, and then um, enter that here. And then you can see that that is being forwarded as well. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I'll also do a video on remote destinations so that you can actually ring um, your cell phone and your desk phone at the same time using single number reach. Um, but that's all for this video. If you liked it, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, if it was not helpful, please uh, tell me why in the comments and maybe I'll redo the video if it's uh, if it, that becomes apparent that that needs to be done. Thanks so much for watching.